Do you want to see your stream chat on your intermission scene or your gaming scene or whatever scene that you have? Well, if yes, I'm gonna show you how. Hi guys, I'm Dark and I want to help you level up your gaming streams and your content creation one level at a time. So we will start with the chat overlay and now let's head to YouTube Studio. So on your YouTube Studio, what you need to do is go to the Create button and then go live. Now that you're here, if you're scheduling a stream, which is a good idea, by the way, all you need to do is just continue either to reuse the settings or create a new one up until the point where you reach this same interface. Next, head to the chat area and then click the three dots. And then from there, click the pop out chat. Once you have this window open, all you need to do is to copy the link. Now, something you have to remember, the link will actually change every time you start a new live stream or if you have a different kind of live stream that you have open. So you always need to copy the link from here. So now that you have copied the link, we need to go to OBS. So here in OBS, you first need to select the scene where you want the chat overlay to be placed. So that could be your intermission scene or that could be your gaming scene, it really is up to you. For educational purposes, we're just gonna stay here. So with that said, let us now go to the sources area of OBS and then either you right click and add or you can press the add sign and then choose browser source. Now you can name your browser source any name that you want, but for us, we're just gonna use a YouTube chat. Make sure that the spelling is correct. Now we're in the properties area of the browser source. All we need to do is go to the URL area. Remember the URL, the link that I asked you to copy? Well, we just need to paste it here and that's it. That's it. Well, actually, we can still fiddle with the width and the height. For now, we're just going to go with 800 and 600 because we're going to start small. There we go. Now we have that. Very, very sorry about this thing here. I know it's a little bit... It's making my head dizzy. But now that we have this one, we are not yet done. So let me just open this black screen over here so that you can actually see properly. There you go. Let's just imagine that this is actually the proper size. Okay. So there we go. Technically, this is going to be the YouTube overlay chat box. Uh, but of course, we don't want to see the other stuff like the top chat word there and uh, this, this thing over here, right? So what do we do? We can actually crop the bottom part. Just hold the control, bo control button. Just hold the control button and then drag up so that we don't actually see the stuff uh, at the bottom as well as at the top. And there we go. We're, we're not yet done. <laughs> now let me just remove the black screen again. And then uh, for now, let's head to the YouTube chat or highlight YouTube chat or the browser source. Right click on that one and then let us choose filters. Now this time we need to add an effect filter and we are going to be choosing the Luma key. Yes, not the chroma key, Luma key. So from here, we're going to play with the sliders. We're just going to fiddle with the Luma Minimum or the Luma Min. Okay, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, a little bit is good. But if you want to go further than that, that's okay. It's really up to you. But please be reminded, while you're increasing uh, the Luma Minimum slider, you're actually also taking away the black. So if you have a black on your icon, it will also be keyed out. Yeah, there's, there's nothing we can do though. So... <laughs> That's pretty much it. This is good. This is good. It's almost a transparent background now. So now let me open the black screen again. And uh, let's say, let's say you want to add a, uh, a background for this one. Let's say we have this kind of background. There you go, because it's kind of new year. Okay, let me just play around with the scale of the chat. You can actually fiddle with the, with the width and the height to your heart's content. It's really up to you if you want a bigger one or a smaller one. So let's try that. Let's head back. Okay, let me type something here. Welcome to Dark Hell Gaming. And yeah, we can actually see it, right? You can actually see it. Aren't you guys happy with that now that you have a, a stream overlay in either of your scenes? Now, if you're asking that you can also do this one in Streamlabs and Stream Elements, answer would be yes, you can, you can. But my real problem with using Stream Elements and Stream Labs when it comes to uh, overlay chat is this. What? Now, who would understand that one, right? And that's why I prefer using this method that I'm actually showing you. So just to give an example, let's head back to uh, my chat over here. Let's use my membership uh, em emojis. 
Let's use that. Let's use death. Let's use the GG. And this one, whatever you think it is, it's either me screaming or smiling. <laughs> uh, there you go. It shows up. It shows up. It's definitely way better than using Stream Elements or Stream Labs, especially if you do have or you are part of the YouTube membership program and you do have the emojis or the emotes for your members. Okay, if you're not happy with this simple chat overlay here, I got you covered. We can have a customized version by checking out this video over here. And of course, if you want, you can also continue watching my videos by checking the videos over here. By the way, don't forget to subscribe, like the video.